The purpose of archaeology is not to prove the Bible. Uh, my view is uh, it's a truth, not proof. Uh, the Bible doesn't need to be proven. I think it stands well enough on its own. Charles Spurgeon said trying to defend uh, the Bible is like trying to defend a lion. Um, it can defend itself. Uh, and so uh, I would say that there are two things that we need to keep in mind when we consider why archaeology is something that uh, ought to be understood and used by Christians. The first is the earthiness of uh, archaeology. It's dealing with material uh, and physical things that have been excavated. And we need to understand that the Bible uh, and the events of the Bible took place uh, in, in time and space. It illuminates the scriptures, it highlights the scriptures, it gives the setting and background for different events. Now, let me give you an example. I dug at the site of Carthage and uh, there we uncovered a child sacrificial cemetery. Uh, and uh, the Bible talks about child sacrifice a lot. And uh, numerous people, uh, scholars have questioned whether there really was child sacrifice in antiquity. And we have shown with our excavations at Carthage that indeed uh, it was the case uh, that the ancients uh, did that. And so uh, uh, it helps us to, to, to understand the material and physical context of the land and for the layperson indeed. I'll give you another example in, in the book of Joshua. It talks about uh, Rahab, that she lived in the wall of the city. Uh, well, in our excavations, uh, we found that uh, uh, the walls of the city were, uh, were hollow uh, and uh, they were uh, used as the back room of houses. So she indeed did uh, live in the wall of the city. So it helps us and gives us understanding of, uh, uh, of different episodes and events in the scriptures. The second point I would make in regard to why archaeology should be important for Christian to understand is its historicity. It underscores uh, that uh, uh, the events that occurred in the Bible are in fact uh, uh, historical. I mean, Paul said, if the resurrection didn't take place in time and history, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow you die. You know, we're in a culture that uh, is ahistorical. Um, our time and day, they don't uh, uh, look at history as something that's important but it's important for us. It's part of the Christian faith is, uh, is historicity. And so um, when we're, we're excavating different sites uh, that were involved uh, with biblical events, that helps us to set those things uh, uh, in time and in place, uh, in space and, and in history. The Bible didn't just drop out of heaven, but it took place uh, within the historical material context of the ancient Near East. And so those are two really good reasons uh, why we uh, need to uh, look and understand archaeology.